All right, I just want to quickly show you how to set up your Lotus Foundation server to accept VPN connections. So this is really handy if you have an office environment and you want to be able to access it from home or remote, remote location. Um, maybe you're traveling or something like that and you think you might need to be able to get into your network. Well, it's really easy. There's a couple of things you've got to do. Firstly, we'll go down the left hand side here and we've got VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network. And you want to make sure that it's got PPTP server as enabled. Okay. And um, then you want to go and make sure that you click on Save Changes if you need to save that. Okay. And then go to your users, click on Users, and find a user. So by myself here. Under administrators, click on the little pencil, and if I scroll down here, I should be able to see allow VPN or PPTP access, and that needs to be on yes. And then I just got to save that. Now that user is now able to access via a VPN. So if you're on a Windows machine, you might need to be able to connect to that. So I will just bring up a Windows machine that I have running here, and to connect to it, you just go to All Programs, Accessories, Communications, Network Connections. And in here, you can create a new network connection. I've got one there already, but for this, I'll do another one. So create a new connection. This is on Windows XP. Click on Next. Then it's got here, Connect to Network at My Workplace. So click on that, and you see here it mentions VPN. Click on Next. A virtual private network it's not dial up so to connect you will need to already be connected to the internet somehow click on next again and give it a name so I'm going to say my company name Rivet and Associates click on next and say do not dial the initial connection okay um, if you, if you need it to establish a connection to the internet first, you could say automatically dial a connection, but most cases would be do not dial the internet connection, and then the host name. So in my case, I'm just going to put my host name as onrivet.co.nz, click on next. I can add a shortcut to the desktop if I want, click on finish. So now if now it comes up asking me for my username and password. So my username, my password, and save the password if I want to for later. Click on connect, and it should connect me to my VPN. But in this case, I'm actually operating this machine. Um, within my network so it's not going to let me connect but when I go out it would have let me connect into it. That's how easy it is to set it up.